Good morning, good morning, good morning. My name is Brother Leroy Pearson of Greater St. Paul, where our pastor is Dr. Reverend Toby H. Puller. And I greet you all this morning in the joy of just knowing Jesus. I praise God. I thank God for this opportunity he has presented to me to sit before you all to bring forth our primary church school, our primary Sunday school quarter lesson, lesson number eight. Praising God, thanking God for the true disciple. April the 24th, 2022. So this month is but gone, so we praise God. We thank God for bringing us through this journey and understanding that God is able to do just what he said he will do. And our lesson today is true disciples, true disciples. And the word true mean real, genuine, authenticated. And the disciples, one who accept and insist in spreading the doctrine of another, a declare follower of Jesus Christ, someone that is doing the will of God, telling the truth, telling the good news of Jesus. Our lesson scripture is John 8, 31 through 38. And our key verse today to the Jews who have delivered him, Jesus said, if you hold to my teaching, you are really my disciple. John 8, 31. If you continue to do what I have commanded you what I am teaching you while I walk this earth with you. You are my true disciple. And today it is if you read my word and you follow my command that I have left back in my word, you are my true disciple. I need you to continue to go out and tell the good news about what I have done, what I have accomplished, how I have taken care of you and I continue to do it. That's why I sent back the Holy Spirit to live within you that, had, that caused you to have your being, that caused you to do what is right. When you look at it and understand, true disciples going out doing what does says the Lord. So God is calling on you to go out and spread the good news. Tell the people how he changed your life. Tell them how he continued to make ways for you and your family. Continue to just let them know God is awesome. As we jump into this lesson this morning, let us look to the hymn. Our Father and our God, we praise, we glorify, we magnify your holy name on this Sunday morning, thanking you once again for just being God Almighty. Father God, as we come to learn what thus says you, O Lord, being true disciples of your Father God, continue to tell the good news, Father God, of what you have done and what you're getting ready to do in this old world, Father God. Oh, we can't be conformed to what we see in this world, Father God, but we have to be transformed, renewed in you, Lord God, that you will lead and guide us. We thank you for our young people. We thank you for their parents. Father God, continue to install in them your word, Father God, that they will go out and tell somebody the good news of Jesus. In your son Jesus' name we pray. Amen, amen, and amen. According to the age Bible verse, early one morning Jesus went back to the temple. Many people gathered around him. He sat down and began to teach. Jesus told them many things concerning who he was. There in the crowd of people were Jewish teachers of the law and the Pharisees, Jewish religion leader. Jesus said to the Jews who had delivered and believed in him, if you are seriously following my teaching, then you are really my disciple. If you are doing what I have commanded you, you are really my disciple. You will know the truth and the truth will set you free. You will come to understand what I'm going through, what is happening in me. It's the Father's will, not mine, but the Father. They reply, we are Abraham's descendants, future generation of offspring, and have never been slave to anyone. That is not what Jesus was describing to them. He is letting them know, if you continue to live in sin, you are slave to sin. Yes, you may be Abraham heir, but if you're Abraham heir, you will understand that I was sent by the Father because in the generosity, general, the genealogy, I came down from Abraham all the way down 400 year generation to stand before you all today to proclaim the good news of me, of what my Father sent me to do. So we have to understand Jesus came. That we may not be slaves to sin, a living sin, a lot of sin that overtake us and control us. What do you mean when you say that we will be set free? Jesus replied, 
telling them, I am telling you the truth. Everyone who sin is a slave to sin. No matter what sin you do, you're a slave. Whether a little sin or big sin, sin is sin. We hate the sin, but we love the person. So we have to encourage them. Pray and ask God to deliver you out of whatever you're going through. Not only in your heart, but in your head too. Allow God to manifest itself that you will see and understand that God is able to do just what he said he will do. A slave does not belong to a family or permanent, but a son belongs to it forever. So if the son sets you free, then you will really be free. I know that you are Abraham descendant, but you are looking for a way to kill me because you will not accept my word. Mm. Lord, I thank you. I am telling you what my father has shown me, but you do what you have heard from your father. You are doing what you think you know, but not you really don't know. That's why God said, I come to teach you my ways and my will. To let you know to walk among these men. When you're saying you one thing, but you're showing something totally different. That's why when we search the spirit, we check the spirit when we talk to somebody and the spirit doesn't line up with you, then you move on. You plant the seed. Somebody else can come out and water the seed, but God going to do the increase. So always be mindful of the people that you meet, the people that you minister to, the people that say, I believe. A real follower. Chase loved basketball. He learned everything that he could about his favorite team, the Blazer. Whenever he could, Chase was watching and learning facts about them. Dad loved playing tick tricks about basketball facts to see if Chase really was following them. Dad called Chase into the kitchen. Chase, are you a real blazer follower? I know something you don't know, Dad said. Dad, there is not anything that I don't know about the blazer. They are my favorite team, Chase explained. Dad began to ask him questions about players, games, and their record. Chase answered every question correctly. Dad asked, did you know that they were traveling, they were trading your favorite player? Dad, they are not trading him. He's the best player on the team. Chase comment, but even if they do, I still a Blazer fan. That's right. A real follow stays with the team no matter what ever is their trade. One of their star players, Dad noticed, Chase, you are a real follower, aren't you? Yep, so dad did they? Yep, so dad, did they really trade him? Chase questioned. Then seeing his dad laugh, dad, see, you are laughing. I know they didn't trade him. Understanding what trade dad, Chase daddy was checking him to see. Are you a true follower of the team because of one player? Or are you a true follower because of the game? And that's what we have to be to Jesus. We have to be a true follower to Jesus no matter what. Somebody said, do you get a full understanding of God for yourself? Don't rely on somebody else to inject Jesus into you. You invite the Holy Spirit that into you that you may be able to live according to what does says the Lord. That you will be able to do what does says the Lord. Understanding a lot of people go from team to team because of a player. They're following the player, not the team. And once upon a time, yes, I did the same thing. But come to realize and understand, one player don't make the team. That one player can't go out on that field, out that court, and play all by himself. He need a team around him. And that's what Jesus is calling for us, to be a team of disciples, to go out to tell the good news about what he had done in this world. When he walked this world and when he went on, how he took our sin away from us, that we may live in freedom, that we may live a life, but live a life of abundantly happy, not allowing this world to burn us down and drag us down. So I thank God this morning for being a disciple of Jesus, telling the good news of what God has done for me. Exploring the story in Ruth. Lee. Hello, everyone. Ruth here. In today's lesson, Jesus is teaching on the truth of being a disciple. 
Jesus told the Jews to believe in him. Believing this truth is what would make them real disciples. He challenged the Jews to believe in him and follow him. If they did so, then they would know that what was true. Jesus wanted them to know the truth of being a real follower. Freedom comes with being a follower of Christ. To be free in Christ is the greatest truth a follower can have. This week, try to list reasons for why you follow Jesus. We discuss your list next week. I thank you. I praise and I glorify God for each and every one of you. As y'all continue to stand on the fence, stand on the wall to proclaim the good news of Jesus. Know that God has not forgotten about us. No matter what is going on in this world, we are not contrary to this world, but we are transformed from this world to do what does say the Lord. God had us, and he has our best interest. So continue to trust in God. Continue to be that true disciple to go out and tell the good news about what Jesus had done for you, how he delivered you, how he set you free from the ways of this world. I thank y'all for allowing me to come into y'all home to bring forth this church school lesson for our children. I pray that it was a blessing to you that you received something out to go out and tell somebody how God has moved in your life. Thank y'all. Be blessed. Be encouraged. Love y'all. Have an awesome Lord's Day.